So let's dismantle the black brick SDR. We've got four screws on the end here. We just whip them out. They're actually not that tight. We take all four out. I'll take the top ones off first because I want to see if you can remove the top without removing the bottom because it's the top that's going to have the connectors so that we can connect our Arduino board for loading firmware and the firmware that's recommended if you want to try a different firmware is the GWA Romeo Delta India firmware. Um, I've got the latest version of firmware that you can get for the black brick model and I'll turn it on and off in a sec and show you. Hopefully we don't have to disconnect the speaker and the volume, sorry, the, the encoder will just pull off. So that's the top four screws removed. Like so, try not to lose them. We always end up losing them, but we try not to. So, okay, um, let's just turn it on and off before, so we can show you. In the middle is the off, and down is the battery, but our battery no, up is the battery, let's get it right, and down is the DC charger, DC, and you do have to use a separate charger to charge the battery. So, oh look, the side's coming off already, and let's uh, quickly flick it on, and you'll see the it's version 1.02W, which is the latest version 2024. Now, but there might be some modified versions, let's call it beta. Okay, let's turn it off, got the sides off, let's pull the, oh there is a little allen key in there, so it looks like I'm going to have to undo that allen key and then undo the bolt behind it. Okay, so I used uh, this tiny little allen key, slips off nicely and then just a little nut behind there. I should use a little spanner but I have this. Oh, it's not even tight. So remember that when you take these apart, these buttons fall out. So when you put it back together, um, just put it back together like that. Let's get that off and you've got a little washer. Now I have done this with the one they call the red corners. So I have some experience. Um, to slide out all of the unit, you have to um, actually remove this and this, I would say, but remember I haven't done it yet. So sides are off. Looks like we are gonna have to take the bottom one off to even to really properly look to see, but that's okay. Now, I think if yours is working fine and you're happy the way it works, then I wouldn't even change the firmware. If you want to experience it, Rob's new firmware, or newish, that's GW, a RDI, then you're doing it at your risk. It's not the firmware, it's the taking things apart. It always seems to be something that breaks. Um, so, especially if you're if you rush the way I do. Right. Okay. Sides are off. There you go. Try not to lose the plates. Remember, there is a battery still connected, so anything you put in there that's metal could cause a problem. Wow, look at that battery. That's solid. So it won't slide out. Ah, but it will. It looks like the battery part was lifting. Oh, okay, well, that looks easy enough to disconnect, and I, I think I'd like to disconnect the battery. But we're not, I don't want to break that terminal off the board. They all seem to be really stiff, those things. So I'll just squeeze it at the top. Let me have a close look with my glasses. Okay, well, I, I pulled it off and it seems to have stayed on there, but I always worry about that. There's a big... Uh... Oh, I can see what that does now. That holds one of the main... Is it a trans... So amplifier chip it holds it in place. So that's quite an important one. Hmm, so... Looks like we're going to have to take off the, oh, I see. That's the antenna, antenna is soldered there. What we want to do is get to the top bit where we connect. 
which is underneath, tends to be underneath the screen. So yeah, our, our problem now is the is the antenna because they chose to use the PL259. That looks harder to remove. So it's starting to come. It's loose. I feel like the only thing that's holding it now is uh, the button, which probably just clips out, uh, and that nut, yeah, that bolt there. So it's starting to come. It's loose. I feel like the only thing that's holding it now is uh, the button, which probably just clips out, uh, and that nut, yeah, that bolt there. Now, if you look down there, you can see the, the bolt far down that holds this chip to the outer case. Well, I get it, it wants a very good grounding. And the thing is, this device is actually working really well. It's giving out 10 watts. So I've decided I don't want to go ahead with it. So it's working fine anyway. So I'm going to put it back together and leave it alone. Because um, I probably could fiddle for ages and get it apart. Then how am I going to get it back together? And I think the the benefits aren't, they don't outweigh the risk of breaking this device. So my attitude is leave it alone with the firmware I've got. Thanks for watching. USDR, black brick, just tested it and it actually does do 10 watts. Has a PTT there. Sounds good. And the firmware is 1.02W. M0FXB Hamtech, check out my videos on this device. 7.3, all the best.